Okay students, so in this video, I'm going to guide you on solving systems of linear equation using the elimination method. Now this method is the second method. Previous method is substitution method. I'll also link the YouTube video down below. So if you haven't watched that, you can watch that method as well. So here, uh, the question is 2p minus q plus 3r equals to 5 p plus 2q minus r equals 0, 3p plus 3q minus 2r equals to negative 5. So elimination means here you need to choose which variable you want to eliminate first. So first step, I will always uh, write down equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So once I've written down, it's easy for me to know which equation I want to eliminate. So look, sorry, which variable I want to eliminate. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to choose uh, variable r okay so i'm going to eliminate r so how to eliminate r okay first i'm going to take elim uh, equation one and two so eliminate r from equation one and two so meaning that I, i'm going to minus both equations so i'm going to do this okay so i'm going to write here 2p minus q plus 3r equals to 5, right? Here is p plus 2q minus r equals to 0. Okay, when I eliminate, meaning I want to minus this, can 3r uh, minus negative r, can I get 0? No. So I need to make sure that when I minus, I get r 0. So what I need to do? So I need to times here, okay? Uh, with 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to times this whole thing by 3 so that when I minus or when I plus I can get 0 here. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite again over here. So 2p minus q plus 3r equals to 5. Here is 3 times p, 3p. 3 times 2q, 6q. 3 times negative r minus 3r equals to 3 times 0, 0. Okay, so 3 plus negative 3 we get 0 or 3 minus negative 3 we get 0. So of course we need to plus. So this time the sign have to change. So we need to do this accordingly. So each time you are uh, multiplying and everything you need to check whether you need to plus or you need to minus so that you can eliminate. Okay, so here is definitely 0. Okay, so 2p plus 3p is 5p, okay, uh, negative q plus 6q is positive 5q, equals to 5 plus 0 is 5. So this one, we can simplify. So all of this divide by 5. So 5 divide 5 is p, 5 divide 5 is q, 5 divide 5 is 1. Okay, we already get... Uh, an equation in only two variables because this is our aim okay we want to eliminate r so we already get just an equation with p and q so here i'm going to write this as equation four okay done now again okay we need to eliminate r but this time okay again we're going to eliminate r but this time choose another two more equation two different equation Thus now we choose 1 and 2, okay? Now we choose 2 and 3, okay? Eliminate R from equation, equation 2 and 3. You can also choose equation 1 and 3, okay? As long as, as it's another pair of equation because we need to choose two pairs. So the first one I've chosen 1 and 2. So the second pair I'm choosing 2 and 3. But it's the, still the same thing. I want to eliminate R. Okay, so I'm going to write equation 2. Okay, P plus 2Q minus R equals to 0. 3P plus 3Q minus 2R equals to 0. Now, since I want to eliminate R here, okay, um, I need a 2 here. Okay, so then only I can eliminate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply the first here, this whole equation, I'm going to times by 2. Okay, so when I times by 2, I'm going to write the new one over here. So, 2 times P, 2P, okay. 2 times 2, 4Q, 
2 times negative r is negative 2r. Two, 2 times 0, 0. Oh, this one is not 0. This is negative 5. Okay, so this is negative 5. Equation 3 is negative 5. Okay, and then here, this down one, I'm just going to copy back. 3p plus 3q minus 2r equals to negative 5. Okay, now, negative 2 minus negative 2. Do we get 0 or negative 2 plus negative 2 we get 0? So I think you already have the answer. So it's definitely negative 2 minus. So we're going to write here minus. Now, so since it's minus, here automatically we eliminated R. Now, uh, 2 minus 3P. So here we get negative P. 4 minus 4Q minus 3Q, we get Q. Uh, 0 minus negative 5, we get 5. Okay, so looks like we already get another equation here. So I'm going to write this as equation 5. So now we got two new equations, equation 4 and equation 5. So now we are going to solve this uh, simultaneous equation. Solve simultaneous for 4 and 5. Okay, so for 4 and 5, let's solve. I'm going to write back 4p plus q equals to 1 and then for 5 is negative p plus q equals to 5. Now which one do we want to eliminate? Do we want to eliminate p or q? Okay, we can choose p, right? So if I want to eliminate p, I need to plus because 1 plus negative 1, I'll get 0. Okay, so 1 plus 1 here will be 2q. 1 plus 5 is uh, 6, so Q is equals to 3. So since we already get Q, now we can substitute Q into, you can choose equation 5 or uh, equation 4. So substitute Q equals to 3 into, let's say I'm choosing 5. Okay, so negative P plus 3 equals to 5. Negative P is equals to 2, so P is equals to negative 2. So you have Q, you have P. Now choose to substitute both these values into any of the first three uh, equations. So let's choose equation 2. Okay, so now substitute. Okay, Q equals to 3, P equals to negative 2 into equation 2 okay so p it's like this p plus 2q minus r equals to 0 so p is negative 2 plus 2q minus r equals to 0 so negative 2 plus 6 is 4 minus r is 0 so r is equals to 4 so we have our all our values so the final answer p is negative 2 Q is 3, R is 4. So we've got our answer for all the uh, variables. So I hope you understand how we use elimination method. So just make sure that when you eliminate one variable, you do it using two pairs of equation. Okay, so that's all guys. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.